so amazed. Let's go for comparisons. Surprise, surprise. Look what I got you. Ah! What I think about this new product from Hermes, the Hermes Plein Air H3 Healthy Glow Mineral Powder is just one of the many Hermes makeup products that they are coming this 2023. <music> Today, I'm dedicating the video to just this powder, which for many of us, looking at the images, it seems like it's just a bronzer, but it's not. It is a multi-purpose powder. Basically, you can use it, yes, to warm up your complexion. Say, for example, you have a very light foundation that is more suitable for fall and winter time and you want to warm it up, you can do so with this powder. You can set your makeup with this powder. You can finish off your makeup or you can use it as a bronzer depending on the shade that you get. It comes in five different shades and I think the shades are amazing. You have one that is very light for those with fair complexions. You have one for light to medium, for medium tan, medium deep and deep complexions. These range, I'm just so impressed. I know, I know, I haven't tried yet on my face, but I'm just telling you that I am impressed. Not only that, but this product comes with 18 grams of product. Do you know what is 18 grams of product? We're gonna do comparisons. I'm talking about these powder comes with more product than Charlotte Tilbury, than Chanel, the bigger palettes that they came out last year, than the big palettes from Tom Ford. I mean, we're talking about, this is an amazing amount of product that we're receiving and it is made in Italy. I will be leaving all the details of my makeup, of this product, absolutely everything will be on the description box below, along with the links for your convenience. What shade did I got? O2 Atlas. Now, for packaging, the Unicar is very cohesive with the entire makeup line of Hermes. Let me tell you a little bit about the powder. This is a gentle formula made with 86% ingredients of natural origin, contains a hyaluronic acid derivative, and enhances all skin types. It is good even for sensitive skin. Okay, friends, let's open this up. I mean, typical Italian makeup. It has to be the iconic orange box. Let's open it up here. And there you have it. Just I like to the blushes, the highlighters, the setting powder too. This is the compact. And then on the back, it has a pink hole, which I think it may be refillable. I say I think because I have to try it. The shelf life is of 12 months. And again, I have a shade here, O2 Atlas which actually on the pan, it doesn't look too warm, too yellow. It actually looks more neutral. And I think within the same pan, you get different type of finishes. On these two sides right here, it looks a little bit satiny. On this edge here, it does have a little bit of what it seems like micro, no glitter, not shimmer, but little specks that they just like spark, but they are not chunky. There's nothing chunky here. And then the borders, they look a little bit more, not matte, but just a little bit more natural in terms of finish. Let's swatch. You know what? I'm gonna swatch just each of the sides. I feel so bad to do this. Okay, it feels soft. I don't know if this shade will be ideal for my skin tone as a bronzer, but you know, let's, let's try it. So this feels so soft. Yeah, there are three shades. The outer side is a little bit lighter. The H, it's just a dash deeper. And then this side right here, it does have a little bit more of a smoothing effect. And it's just a tiny bit deeper. Let's go ahead and swatch it. This is very soft. Now it's looking a little bit more warm on my hand and now I'm just gonna swirl the whole thing and see what happens. I mean, I know the difference is not gonna be a whole lot, but there you have it. I think definitely it's gonna warm up my complexion, but I will be leaving all my foundation matches on the description box below, although I'm using today a Hermes. <laughs> Obviously, the Planner Complexion Balm, which is one of my favorite ones. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to use a Sonia G Niji brush, this beauty right here. Let's see how much I can pick up. 
Ooh, ooh, okay, it's very soft. Don't press too hard. Although this brush is very, very soft. You see the amount of powder that I got in there? And this compact has a very nice size mirror. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Oh yeah, it's warming up my complexion. I thought it was not gonna have too much, but the shade is actually perfect. See, this is deceiving and this makes me happy because that means if this is just the shade two, well, the other shades are gonna have, or I hope so, they will have more pigment. I think if anything, I will be buying the shade number three for summer months because this shade is just so beautiful and natural. It's warming up my complexion. And you may be wondering, do you see any specks of glitter on your face? I don't. I don't at all and whatsoever. Look at that. And it's not super, super warm. I think it does have a little bit of warmth but it's yet a little bit neutral. It does have more, at least the shade Atlas, a Dore kind of effect. I think I will be going to my, no, not mine, but I wish right. <laughs> my closest Hermes boutique fairly soon. And if they have it on display, I will make sure to swatch all of the shades for you. So stay tuned for that. Either I will be posting a shorts here on my YouTube video, but most likely on my TikTok and Instagram. So that way you can see all the different shades. If I have it before I upload this video, I promise I will insert it too here in the video. But if not, you'll have to wait until I go to the boutique. I feel that this is a beautiful shade and I can even build it up if I want to. See? It's super soft. It does have a natural finish with a very tiny amount of radiance. And the radiance, I think this is a perfect combination because you get that very subtle radiance from this side of the powder while the rest it's just, I feel, it seems like, I say, I feel it seems like because there is some texture. If you can see on this close up, you can see there's some texture on the embossing of the palette. And this one seems to have a little bit of like a, not satin finish, but silk-like. I, I love it. Okay, let's use this same powder for the eyes. Going with a Sonia G Classic Crease. And I know we don't have yet a eyeshadow from Hermes. Can you imagine single eyeshadows from Hermes that they will just look like glistening and mesmerizing? Something like, say, the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty. That would be incredible. And I think that will suit the brand because I see Hermes on everything that they do, whether it is they are iconic bags, they are ready to wear, everything is not flashy. It's very simplistic yet elegant. And very simple elegance. And I feel that their makeup approach too, it is the same way. The lipsticks is what it brings all the magic of the shades but i feel like i don't know in eyeshadows, shadows i don't see hermes bringing us crazy shades or perhaps i'm wrong but yeah well, you can see right here how it looks the eyeshadows on my eyelid and there you have it friends and by the way if you're new here to my channel i always say it at the beginning but sorry i just say right now i film in natural light so i'm in front of a window and I'm sure you can see the finish, the shade really well. Let's apply some blush also from Hermes. And I have this Hermes brush, which by the way, with this new mineral powder, they're also launching a brush. And their brushes are actually nice, perhaps not the softest per se although they are natural hair bristles 
but they are good brushes no matter what. They are well made. I'm gonna add the same shade on my Mara Reed. This is one of my very favorite highlighters on my entire collection. It is Perma Brass by Hermes. It is gorgeous. And it has come back in a stock. So if you have been eyeing it, highly suggested to pick it up. And talking about highlighter, with this new collection from Hermes, they are bringing us also two mineral luminizers. One that is more pinky tone, which is Atacama stands for the desert in Chile. And then the other one, the one that is a little bit more Doré, is called Rose Mojave, if I'm not mistaken. And that one, obviously, the Mojave Desert here in California. So anyhow, super excited for those luminizers too. I will be bringing a separate review on the luminizers as well. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel with that post notification bell on because you don't wanna miss any of my uploads, whether it's Hermes or anything else. My makeup is pretty much done. I went ahead and applied a little bit of this new Charlotte Tilbury pop shot. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if you are subscribed to my channel, perhaps you have already saw my shorts where I'm applying the shade and if not, TikTok, Instagram. So anyhow, we need to apply something on the lips and surprise, surprise, look what I got you. Oh my goodness, such these babies right here. These are the new Hermes Spring Summer 2023 Lipstick Collection. Every spring and summer, Hermes brings us some new lipsticks. And on this time, they brought us a extension of the Brillan Sheer Lipstick Formulation, which we saw at first with the very first launch of Hermes lipsticks with this beautiful shade, Poppy, which is a favorite of mine, is actually, like I said, sheer and just super, super beautiful. This one has a little bit of sparkles to it. Now, I picked up out of the three shades, two of them, 06 Brilliant Coral Parasol and then 10 Brilliant Beige Crosette. Depending on how much I like them today, I may get the other one. So let's try and see. Oh, this is such a beauty. Oh, just love this combination, the details. It's just so beautiful. It actually reminds me to Yes, the Riviera, or like Cinque Terre, Positano Amare. Yeah, it, it totally brings me into it. I'm ready, ready for summertime. I'm going to skip a spring. I have too many allergies for a spring. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, let's go with this shade. Yeah, sheer. You know, this is so beautiful. Mm, look at that. It makes your lips look juicy. You know, if you like the Dior lip shines, you're gonna love, 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 love this formula. Mm, this is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, okay, let's remove these and let's apply the next one. Brilliant Beige Crosette. I don't know, this gave me a little bit more of Venezia vibes. <laughs> mm, such a pretty shade. Okay. Oh. Gorgeous pinky nudish tone and no glitter, no shimmer. This is actually a tone that you can wear with everything because it does have a little bit of pink, but it's also a little bit nude. Mmm. Hermes. 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 <laughs> okay, so guess what? I'm getting the third one. I'm getting the third one and you will see me doing, I will do a shorts. What about that? I will do a shorts or a TikTok. You will see it. You will see it because these are incredible. They look not only beautiful, they make my lips look juicy, comfortable, not thick. 
mm, if anything, a very light balm, but not something thick and gross or, or buttery. No, 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 nothing of that. This is just luxurious. So luxurious, so beautiful. And they come, yes, on this beautiful Hermes box. With okay, so you like the surprise? Yes, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I love to give surprises. For the fragrance of the day, obviously, we have to go with Hermes Twilly. One of my very favorite fragrances. Mm, love the opening, mm, that beautiful ginger, bergamot, it does have tuberose, orange blossom, it's so pretty, and then a little hint of vanilla too, ah, so beautiful. Okay friends, let's go for comparisons. Yes, I have a ton of bronzers here, we're going to compare this new bronzer mineral powder from Hermes with other bronzers that I do have on my collection. Now, some of my bronzers, they may look just a little bit more deep in tone, but no matter what, I think it's important so you can actually see the different shades and also we can talk about the formulation. I'm just going to put this one right in the middle. This is the one from Hermes Atlas 02. Charlotte Tilbury, this is the shade 02. And I'm just going to put it above the Hermes. Hermes is looking a dash bit warmer than the one from Charlotte. One of my very favorite bronzers at this moment is the one from Valentino. This has a different texture. It's very, very creamy. I'm just going to put it above Charlotte Tilbury. This has more of a reddish undertone to it, and it is in the shade Universal. Although Valentino does have not only this shade called Universal, there are different shades on the bronzer range from Valentino. Sisley bronzer. Now, this bronzer only comes in one shade, unfortunately, and this one... If anything, it's very alike to the one from Valentino in terms of the actual formulation. And it's in fact even just a little bit warmer than the one from Hermes. Chanel Levage Sun Kiss. This is the medium shade. I'm just going to put it down here below. This is a little bit more powdery, actually. This is below Sisley, so we have right here Hermes, Sisley, and then Chanel. Let's go now for Chantecai in the shade Serena, right? Serena. I don't think it may be worth it. I mean, if you want to, I can swatch Goa, but Goa, it is reddish in tone. So this is Serena. And here is the one from Hermes. Again, Hermes has a little bit more of a gold tone. Serena, when applying it, it is warm in tone. It's also golden, but in comparison with Atlas from Hermes, Atlas pulls even more gold. As promised, I'm going to swatch Goa for you. This is definitely more reddish in tone and deeper. Actually, even neutral. I'm just going to swatch it above and yeah, completely... Completely different. <laughs> and then I have here my Tom Ford Oversized Bronzers. This one is Gold Lass, which is one of my favorite ones. And then I have here Terra. So let's go for Gold Lass, which has a little bit more pink if we were to compare it again with Atlas from Hermes. And then Terra. Yeah, Terra also has a pinkier tone. And then again, this one is the one from Hermes in Atlas. Okay, my friends, now that you saw all the swatches, the comparisons, application, what I think about this new product from Hermes, a complete hit. Let me tell you, hands down, this is a fantastic formulation. If um, you want to know what is the finish or to which one will I compare it the most? I will say to touch Charlotte Tilbury. 
application, Charlotte Tilbury, in terms of that airbrush kind of finish where you don't see where it starts, where it ends. It's very much an airbrush kind of formula. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, in terms of the actual finish, it's not as mad as the Charlotte Tilbury one. In terms of finish, if you have tried the Tone 4 one, then it's a light to that one, which Tone 4 lands kind of in between a Sisley and the Valentino. It's kind of right in the middle. It does have a little bit of luminosity, but without having glitter, shimmer, same thing with this, no glitter, no shimmer, but it does have this satiny, not super satin, but just silky-like finish, very, very lightly, that give a very youthful look to your skin. It gives dimension. And the shade is fantastic. For me, the shade Atlas is ideal at this point in time, that we are in the middle of winter, gearing into spring pretty soon. Then I think I'm going to pick up the shade number three because I feel that that will suit me the most during summertime. But as you can tell, you can see I do have bronzer. So it works. It completely, completely works. And it's non-powdery. As you can tell, look how clean it is my pan. It is completely clean, completely clean. There's no kickback, there's no mess. It's not flying everywhere. Mm. If it has a scent, it has the typical very light, light scent from Hermes, but it dissipates right away. I mean, I think even this one is less scented than other powders, than way less scented than the blushes. If you recall the blushes, I do have all of them. Those have a lot more scent than this. This is just barely there. As you're applying it, it's gone. It's completely, completely gone. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic product from Hermes. Super happy that I was able to get my hands on it. Plus in terms of product, you're receiving a huge amount of product on this Hermes powder. 18 grams, that is the most I'm pretty sure that I have here in my collection. Chanel, this one, it is 15 grams. Yes, 15 grams in terms of size, there you have it. Much slimmer, more compact with a very high, high quality mirror. The ones from Tone 4, these ones are 15 grams too. And then look at this compact, it's the size of the palette itself and then as luxurious as the packaging this one is all one that's one is that's why it's gone like <laughs> i know then charlotte tilbury i think this has 16 grams and look at that really really nice another comparison right here these are the blushes from hermes if you want to see the size right there so just a little bit bigger Condense and really nice quality. Really, really nice quality. These lipsticks, don't let them go. Don't let them go if you like this shiny lipstick that is just so nourishing, so beautiful, no fuss, easy on application. You don't even need a lip liner. I know, I know what a scene not putting a lip liner, but what I'm saying is just the comfort, the shine, how juicy they look. They are just fantastic, fantastic lipsticks by Hermes. Okay, my friends, and this makes it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, that you found it helpful with all of these comparisons, all the descriptions that I'm giving to you. I would love to hear from you. Are you excited for this new mineral powder slash bronzer from Hermes? And don't you worry, in regards to the luminizers, obviously i'm gonna bring you my review so stay tuned for that make sure you have that post notification bell on come and follow me on my instagram and tiktok if you like this video it would be amazing if you can give it a thumbs up share with family and friends i will greatly greatly appreciate that and if you're not done watching my content if you want to know more about the new shades of charlotte tilbury pop shots or the new gucci foundation i will greatly greatly appreciate it and if you're wondering about the new gucci foundation or more about the new pop shots eyeshadows from charlotte tilbury i will be leaving those videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye, -bye.